Thank you so much for joining me. I am Professor Vegan. Class is now in session. You're about to get schooled. When I hear people tell me that it costs a lot of damn money to go vegan, I just shake my head because it is not true at all. If you go to the store and you're looking in people's shopping carts, right? You're looking down in their carts and it's just stacked with this dead flesh, carcasses, meat. Meat is the most expensive thing that you're going to put into your shopping cart. And I get these flyers in my mailbox every week just to prove a point. So what we're going to do now is just go over some prices just to back myself up so you guys understand what I'm talking about here. All right, we're going to try to knock this out as fast as we can. I'm going to be glancing off to the side because I have everything off to my left here. All right, so here we go. So we got beef skirt steak for $9.99 a pound. That's a lot of money for, for some dead flesh. Uh, shell steak is going for $7.99 a pound. We have some salmon fillets, $5.99 a pound. And right here it says extra large shrimp with the head off. Okay, for $6.99 a pound. That's crazy, that's crazy. Then flip it over, flank steak, $6.99 a pound. You guys getting a picture here? We got some cheap chicken. That's going for $1.19 a pound. And then you got some drumsticks and thighs going for $1.49. Then they try to throw you off calling it a drumstick. And all it is is, again, dead flesh, carcass, parts of dead bodies. You really have to wake up and, and just... Open your eyes and stop walking around with your eyes glued shut. And a Swiss cheese for $4.99 a pound. Remember, the most, again, like I said before, the most expensive things you're going to put in your cart are animal products. Roast beef, $6.99 a pound. Salami, $5.99 a pound. Pepper jack cheese, $4.99 a pound. Fresh mozzarella cheese, $6.49 a pound. Salmon fillets, on the other, what the heck, $6.99. Calamari, $9.99. And people wonder why their, their food bill is so high. You're getting robbed. You're getting robbed. All you're doing is eating trash. Filling your shopping carts up with trash. Let's move on to the fruit and vegetables. All right, so here we go. I'm looking through. I'm flipping through. We got some uh, Red Globe grapes, $1.49 a pound. All right, red or golden delicious apples, 99 cent a pound. And we're going to flip through. We have romaine lettuce, 99 cents a pound. Eggplant, 79 cents a pound. We have some fresh spinach. So they're bags of spinach. You get two for $3. And let's see, we'll jump into this other one. You can get a five pound bag of Idaho potatoes for 99 cents 49 cents for a pound of yellow bananas uh, what else we got here one other side but you guys see the difference you can get you a bag a three pound bag of clementines for 299 two jumbo cantaloupes for five dollars um, broccoli 99 cent a pound celery um, you get bunches of celery for three dollars you guys see the difference how the fruit and the vegetables are much, much cheaper and it's much better for you. Huge difference. Huge difference in price. What you want to do is just hit a few stores first, compare prices, see where you can get the better deal, and then you make your choices off of that. But other things that you can incorporate and are inexpensive, rice, beans, lentils, um, barley is a really good one. And then from the greens, collard greens, mustard greens, kale, bok choy, all these different things and all the different types of squash, yes, spaghetti squash, butternut squash. The list goes on and on. And I think one funny story was, I remember when I was a kid, because I ate a lot of kale, I always ate greens, and they used to decorate the meat displays and fish displays with kale. They used kale as a garnish in the display cases. And then when they find out how good it was for you now, they want to take and jack the price of and stuff up. I mean, I can still get it around my way 
for under a dollar. Like I said, any of those greens, man, I can get spinach, same thing. But eating plant-based is much cheaper than eating a regular American diet when it comes to expense. Now, can you spend more money? Yeah, if you want to go get ripped off. I mean, you can go to a place if you want to pay $4 for one apple and things like that. But there's ways around everything. Just do your homework and you'll find ways to eat a whole lot cheaper. And again, eating a plant-based diet is so much better for you. Okay, this is going to be the last tip. We're going to start winding uh, this clip down. But I know a lot of vegans, including myself, we eat a lot of bananas, uh, especially for your smoothies and things like that. And um, I commute into New York City. I work in New York City, and I walk past places where they want to sell you a uh, banana for a dollar or two bananas for a dollar and stuff like that. I'm like, you got to be kidding me. So my tip for you guys is go to your supermarket. And they should have a reduced uh, fruit section. And that's what I do. And I actually get 10 bananas for, I don't know, like 75 to 85 cents. I'm going to show you what it looks like here. I'll bring it up. And it's these bags. I don't know if you can see it. It says it's a ripe banana bag. And I get all my bananas like this. And like I said, we can take and we get these things. It's usually about 9 to 10 in a bag. And again, the range from like 75 cents to 85 cents for the bananas. And I save a ton of money on fruit. So remember, check to see if your supermarket has a reduced fruit section. They normally do. And um, you can get your bananas cheap like that. They have apples and cucumbers and a lot of different things in it. But you have to check and see what's on the shelf for the day. I want to thank everyone for joining me. I am Professor Vegan. Remember... Understanding equals knowledge.